Uh, uh, me and the Badgie, we thought we'd uh, rent a video tonight. She wanted to see the birds, but I thought a thriller might be better. I mean, you could join us if you like, get some popcorn, pretend we're at the pictures. Yeah, why not, eh? Only I'll get to pick the film. Would you like me to get you some fish and chips for later? No, you're all right. I'm gonna go and get some fresh air. Well, shall I come with you? No. I'll see you later. Sonia. Can we talk? Sonia? It's Martin. I don't want to see him, Grandad. Look, I know I've got no right coming over. I just want to tell Sonia that I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you. What do you want me to say? That I forgive you? No, of course not. Then what? I just needed to say that, that it was all my fault. Yeah. If I hadn't taken the car, I, I'd stop to think. Jamie might be next door in the kitchen, making me cheese on toast and burning it like he always did. But he ain't. He's gone. And I can't talk about it no more. So whatever you came over here for, whether it was for a good cry or to get it all off your chest, you've come to the wrong place. Cos I ain't got nothing left to give, Martin. Not even for myself. Martin, gone then. Yeah, you want to talk about it? No. Must have taken some courage coming round here facing you. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I'm a bullseye. You used to suck these in the trenches, you know, good for stress. Might as well eat all of them then. I mean, what am I supposed to do? That's right. There's nothing you can do, can you? Is Martin in? Yes, he's, he's through there, gone through. It's about earlier, I wasn't... I didn't mean to have a go. I wouldn't blame you if you did. I don't know what you want me to do, Martin. We can't keep talking about it. What good's that gonna do? I thought it might help. I don't know how bad I feel. How's that going to help me? Do you really think I want to see you walking around the square looking like you're going to top yourself every day? How's that meant to help me, Martin? What I want is to forget. What else can we do? Grandad watching my every move. Robbie's like a bear with a sore head. They want me to get counselling at college. And every time I see you coming, I've got to hide either in the cafe or the shops so I haven't got to go over it all over again. I'm sorry. Will you stop apologising? You're driving me round the bend, Martin. How can I forget what's happened if you keep going on about it? I keep thinking that I've... I've got to say something, I've got to do something, but I don't know what. You don't think I feel guilty? I feel guilty about everything. Everything I've done wrong made a mess of in me life to deserve something like this happening to me. Every mistake I made with Jamie, breaking up with him, every fight we've ever had. So you really think it's just you who feels guilty? Do you remember when we were kids? <laughs> I used to always buy these bullseyes. You used to get them little snake things and bite the head off in front of me. <laughs> yeah, I wish we were kids again. Don't you? No. I don't think I do. See, I look at my life, Martin, and I say, this has happened. But it's happened to both of us. And it's broken both our hearts. Nothing can change that. We won't forget it, we won't get over it, because it's changed us. It's part of us now. And we can't do nothing about it. I... 
got to go now. What about your bullseyes? Granddad says they're good for stress. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll split them with you. Can't get fairer than that, eh? Thank <laughs> you.